this is uh, not gospel. It is. What? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. It is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the truth. I know it's good news, but I'm saying. I get out there. You ain't going to tie me up. But what I'm saying is, um, I don't know if they can do it for praise and worship on Sunday. <laughs> Now they do for praise and worship at night. Amen. Yeah. And then, but I'm saying it's not saying on a Sunday service, Sunday, off, you know, hey, maybe not, but I'm saying, what tell me how the process can you hear the stuff y'all want to do? Yeah, stuff. so uh, it starts with my last album came out six and a half years ago. Uh, reset album and clean this house and book guy featured my brother James Fortune in the middle of it. Oh James! Yes. So we did that, we did an album. Six and a half years ago, and I went this high is for so many different so reasons that we can get into it later. Um, so I was, I was dealing with anxiety and fear recording the game. I would go in and record the song and then disappear for like a year. Then I go into the studio and record the song and disappear for like six months. Then I would go record the song and then go on tour for like two years. And I was just nervous and I was asking God, like, oh, you know, with the wave of gospel music right now. Everybody's doing praise and worship, and everybody's doing this, that, and the other, and there's so many amazing lives. Where do I fit in after you take a six year hiatus? You know, sometimes, you know, we live in a culture now where people forget real quick. You know, and I was like, yo, how do I insert myself back into a culture where things are daily changing? People can look at this video and five minutes, so the sun else drop, they can kind of lie. That's just the nature of the way the culture is now. And God said, the best way you can win is to just be you. Don't try to be anybody else. Do what you do. So I got with some uh, some producers that did not mind pushing me past my limits. You know, which is a good thing. Because some producers will allow you to just do what you do. But producers like Warren Campbell, who's in the building, Baby Dove, if he's in the building, producers like Baby Hellman and, and, and Black Elvis, and the whole real culture team, they told me from the beginning, they said, I hate you. If you're going to do this, you have to live the life. You have to emerge yourself in this. So I went to Felly and I said, Felly, I want to write a song about my wife. And I gave him this whole analogy of me and Dee's story. And we began to unpack that thing. And we began to build it from the music to the, to the bass line and the lyrics and everything. And this is what came out. And, and I didn't write the song because I messed up. I didn't write the song because I was in the doghouse. I've been messing up for 15 years. I've, I've been messing up for 15 years. I've been messing up for 17 years. I really want to focus in on what, we, what I've done or what I did. But it's more so what we overcome together. 